Hi Fox, are we okay today? Just a quick video really, I just want to make a couple of points. Um, a challenge to Ala Dawe. Dawe, if he wants to debate, I'm willing to debate him. And um, he was going around Hyde Park and this is the kind of thing he was up to. So Ali Dawa goes around this Muslim guy and he's interviewing Christians and, and bullying Christians, getting in their face saying, look, we did good at this uh, fire thing, <clears throat> we helped people there, you don't say anything about that as Christians, but yet you say that Islam's about violence and stuff. What is interesting in that video, he didn't want to get into uh, the theology of the Quran. Um, so let's just look at uh, let's just look at uh, some verses in the Quran. Uh, Surah five thirty six. Punishment of those who wage war against God and His Apostle and strive with might to maim for mischief through the land is execution or crucifixion or the cutting on of hands. So basically, when you're engaged in war, crucify the people and cut off their hands. Uh, Surah 554, O ye who believe, take not the Jews and the Christians for your friends and protectors. They are but friends and protectors to each other. And he amongst you that turns to them for friendship is of them. Verily God guideth not a people unjust. So there the Quran in a historical context teaches violence to people. Um, so Ali Dawa is what he's trying to do is trying to sugarcoat Islam. Look, we Muslims we do nice things, but you know we're not all violent. We know that. We know many Muslims are nice people. Everybody knows there are many uh, nice nice people. Muslims are nice people. What we're saying is, if you read your Quran, your Quran teaches violence. Period. In fact, I was bold to say that it's a terrorist training manual. It really is. If you study the Quran, there are over 100 verses on violence. And no amount of saying it's a just war and all the rest of it will sugarcoat the fact that it's crammed packed with violence in the Quran. I've just mentioned two. I could mention many, many more verses. It even gets worse if we read hadiths. Um, one hadith says a single endeavor of fighting in Allah's cause is the forenoon or the afternoon is better than a world and whatever is in it that's glorifying violence nobody who enters paradise like to go back to the world even if he got everything on the earth except Mujahad who wishes to return to the world so that he may be martyred ten times because of the dignity he receives so that is glorifying martyrdom so whichever way you look at it from a scholarly point of view, looking at the Quran in its context, looking at the Hadiths, the Quran and Muhammad teach uh, a violent faith. It's a very violent faith. And the Muslims will do everything they can to try and spin it and say, no, we're a nice, we're a nice faith. No, the Quran teaches violence, period. Um, the next thing I want to mention is the Muslim behavior at Hyde Park over the last couple of years. The Muslims have been very bullying. A lot of the Muslim apologists have been very bullying to Christian women. 
They've treated the Christian women appallingly and you can look back at many of their videos the way they speak over not just Christian women but many Christians where they're being quite obnoxious and quite uh, rude um, and bullying really. And uh, so I turned up about three or four, about four weeks ago and I gave them a bit of their own medicine. They didn't like it. Um, but generally speaking, there's been a bullying going on in Hyde Park. Uh, we see that with a Christian ex Muslim who was a Christian, uh, he was kicked off his stepladder, we have a video of that. Um, the intimidation of Sarah, the black guy, uh, the Muslims have intimidated him, uh, threatened him um, and, and stuff. So, so you have the Quran that teaches, you have some of the behaviour in, in, in Hyde Park of Muslims where it's been really, really bad. And then thirdly, you look at the Islam uh, in the Middle East and what, what that's done to Christians. They've completely destroyed the church in the Middle East. There's been genocide and nobody's talking about it. Nobody in the West is saying anything about it. But we're talking to millions of Christians that have been killed or displaced, sold into slavery, sex slavery, whatever. We're talking not a thousand, we're talking millions of Christians. The West doesn't want to talk about it. The West doesn't say anything about it. Muslims don't say anything about it. But that's the fact. And that is because of Islam. Because it's intolerant of Christianity. These Muslim extremists uh, in, these, in, in, in Syria and Iraq are following the Quran. And they've decimated the Christians in the Middle East. And I'm not ashamed to say it. Um... And then third, and then finally, um, when when Islam gets to a certain powerful strength within a nation, fifteen percent violence begins to happen. That's what you see in the Philippines. That's what you see in Chechnya, etc. So you're seeing that in Nigeria. In the West, um, the violence that has been coming from uh, Muslim extremists is, is is really caused to to cause two things. One is uh, to cause a division between Muslims and and non-Muslims within those countries, and two to in intimidate those Western countries. But these jihadists are doing it because they believe that they're doing it in the name of Allah, and they're getting it from the Quran. And no amount of political correct spin can hide that fact that that's where it's coming from, it's coming from the Quran. And political correctness tries to smooth it over and paint a, a nice sugar-coated picture. But that's the reality. The West is asleep to the danger of Islam and the violence that is, is going to come more and more uh, because of the teaching of the Quran. And so Ali Dawa can say, oh you hate preachers because you mentioned the violence in the Quran. No. It's just saying the fact. And rather than demonize, if you're so purer than pure and whiter than white, rather than demonize Christian preachers and say they hate preachers, why don't you show them some love? You're not showing them love. You're demonizing them. Which is a proof that really that is what Islam's about, demonizing people. All right? And, and and bringing violence on people and that's what you've been doing in Hyde Park you've been bullying Christians and we're fighting back not with violence but with argumentation and you can't take it you can't cope with the fact that Christians are holding you to the fire and you don't like it as Muslims preachers and political leaders have a right to speak out about the violent nature of the Quran it's called free speech and we should have a right to dialogue and debate and discuss it. And if it's true, it'll stand out. And if it's not true, it, it will be exposed as a lie. So, Ali Dawa, just get out your Quran and defend your position. Quoting one verse is not enough. We need to do it in a scholarly, fair, academic way. Not in a very drama way and bullying way that you conducted yourself uh, the other Sunday. Uh, just ambushing Christians and causing a load of drama and demonizing people. That's exactly what you're accusing the street preachers are doing in Hyde Park. It's actually what you're doing. It's actually what the West 
uh, the West um, Political Correct Brigade are very good at being very self-righteous where they demonize opposing groups but then say that those groups are the ones that are demonizing everybody else when actually it's just a form of control that you're actually demonizing them because you don't like the opposition that they're giving you. So anyhow, if anybody wants to debate me uh, about jihad and the Quran and whatever, I'm willing to do a formal academic scholarly debate at High Park. Just tell me the date and I'll be there. All right. None of this jumping Christians and bullying Christians and heckling Christians and saying that they hate preachers and all the rest. No, no, no. Let's do this in a very scholarly, academic way. But what you'll find is that they won't do it. Now, here's an interesting thing. I offered the Muslim apologist down at Hyde Park an opportunity to come to Manchester and to dialogue and be friendly and dialogue and they've not taken that opportunity up so when they're going on about Christians down there who are street preachers say, saying that they hate preachers just remember that this preacher on behalf of the preachers down there invited these Muslim preachers and apologies to come to Manchester and to dialogue and have a fair honest academic discussion and debate and not one Muslim apologist took up the opportunity but what they would rather do is ambush Christians down there and bully them and say you're a hate preacher rather than come up to Manchester let me make them a meal or buy them a meal and have a fair honest dialogue and discussion that shows you where they're at thank you for listening and God bless you don't forget my website jasonbirdspreacher.com